Hey everyone, Jamie here. So a lot of you were asking for a simple tutorial that just involved a few things from around the house. Well, if you've got paper and scissors, then you'll be able to make a DIY that can be used as room decor, wall art, a pencil topper, and party favors. Get ready as I show you how to make your own decorative pinwheels. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for your pinwheel, you're going to need scissors, a ruler and writing utensil, a brad and push pin, double-sided tape or craft glue, hot glue or super glue, and any sort of stick, whether it's a dowel, a straw, or simply a cute pencil. Finally, you're going to need square paper. Four by four inch or six by six inch paper works the best, and you can always cut down rectangular paper to size. A quick note here is that double-sided paper with both a different front and back color look the best. So I'd recommend looking for pre-designed patterns in stores or simply gluing one type of stylized paper to the back of another. All right, let's get these pinwheels a turning. Step one. Starting with your square piece of paper, the first step is to lightly draw an X from one corner to another. You could also fold the paper in half and work off of the creases, but I think that you get a crisper, cleaner line when you're drawing. The next step is to cut your line starting from the corner, stopping about a half an inch to an inch from the center. Once you've cut all the lines, it should look like you have four triangles with tops conjoined in the middle. Now's the time to fold every other corner of your triangles to the center. Just to stay consistent, I'll be folding in the bottom right of each triangle. Now you can use double-sided tape, hot glue, or strong glue here. Just be careful not to adhere any adhesive to your finger as you're using it to push in the triangle's corner to the center. In order to create a more traditional puffy pinwheel for spinning, glue the very tip of the triangle and avoid folding at the crease when bending bending the tip into the center. This will allow the pinwheel to have more curve for spinning. Step four, now's the time to add the brad to your pinwheel. Using your push pin, poke a hole through the middle of your folded triangles and give it a little wiggle to leave some space for your brad. Then stick your brad through the hole of the pinwheel. Fold the edges of the brad back to lock everything in place. And there you go, your basic pinwheel head is complete. You could totally stop here and then double tape a bunch of these to your wall for room decor. Or you could put a safety pin on the back of them and then you can have a sort of decorative pinwheel corsage. But I'm a girl who wants to wave her pinwheel around with pride. In other words, I would like to have a stand for this pinwheel to hold on to. If you're on board, then take a ride with the Jamie train to step five. With your brad ends bent back, use a bit of hot glue or strong super glue to attach the top of your stick to the center of your pinwheel. If you like, you can cut out a nice looking paper pattern and glue it right over the center of your stick, adhering its sides to the back of your pinwheel for extra security. Another option is to simply double tape the stick to the back of the pinwheel, or just wrap the ends of your brad around your stick to keep it in place. Now these techniques of gluing don't allow your pinwheel to spin. If you wanted that to be the case, then just let your brad stick out a bit before bending the edges back. Or you can just skip the whole gluing thing in general and then just stick your original push pin through the pinwheel and into a pencil eraser. Just be careful that you're not poking yourself with the tip of that push pin. And your decorative pinwheel is complete. Now these can make great pencil toppers. Obviously, as I've attached it to a pencil, but these can also make really good desk decor if you wanted to stick them in a vase or attach a name tag to the stick to make a great table setting at a party. And if you wanted to keep designing, you can always throw a button or a new paper pattern over the pinwheel center or make your pinwheel any size and in any color. I thought I would try out a fun technique and use glow in the dark paint on my pinwheel. Unfortunately, the camera wasn't able to pick up on the paint in the dark, but trust me, these look so good at a nighttime party or just to have in your bedroom. There are so many different ways to do this fun and simple craft, so feel free to put your own spin on it. Har, 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 har. What type of pinwheel did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. For more DIYs just like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, looking at this pencil pinwheel topper already got me thinking about back to school crafts. I know, I think ahead. Is there anything that you would like to see me do on the show? Go ahead and tweet me, Instagram me, or just let me know in the comments below. What type of what type of tin peel did you make? <laughs> what type of tin peel did you make, huh? <laughs> <laughs>